Aloha, I'm Rocky Savai Naya. And I'm Sloan Ketchum. And welcome to this special edition of GPA Play It Smart, where we help student athletes prepare to go to college, get a degree, and become great leaders in our community. On this special edition, we are profiling Punahou tennis player Shelby Barron. Shelby's talent in tennis is unmatched. For the last two years, she has been traveling all over the world to participate in junior tennis competitions. In 2010, she went to Taiwan and got third in singles and was the winner in doubles. She then went to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, where she won the junior singles and doubles. Great job. She was then invited to play in the 2011 International Tennis Federation World Team Cup, representing the U.S. of A. <laughs> the tournament was held in Pretoria, South Africa, and she got fifth. Wow. Shelby, you go girl. You're amazing. In 2011, she went to compete in Montreal, Canada and Hilton Head in South Carolina. In Montreal, she was a finalist on the doubles division, while in South Carolina, she won the singles, doubles, and the women's consolation in singles. Oh, wow! <laughs> so now, let's go to Punahou. Shelby Barron was born with spina bifida. During the summer of 2010, Shelby attended a USTA, International Tennis Federation, Junior Wheelchair Tennis Camp in California. There, her passion for tennis was ignited, and she started her winning spree. Here, she practices with Coach Jerry Cape. Here we go. Ready? Sure. He hits me, I'll volley back. He's gone. I'll have another one to bed right away. Here we go. Shelby has a very busy schedule at Punahou. Here she takes her fun European history class. Today you've, you've read chapter 20, so we're going to look at that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and first start with a skit. I'm going to need some people to volunteer for parts. September 1st, 1939, Hitler's army invades Poland. Now let's hear what Shelby's teacher and friends think of her. Actually, I had Shelby both this year in my European history class as well as last year in my US history class and she's a solid student. Uh, she comes uh, with a cheerful attitude and works well with others. Um, also, her work is uh, you know, well researched and uh, puts a lot of effort into it. The thing that I really admire about Shelby is that she never really lets anything get her down. She's just a really positive person. Like, she tries really hard in school and I know it must be hard for her because she misses so much time due to tennis. But she never complains. I always kind of saw her hanging around with a lot of girls. She was always pretty popular. Well, popular as in she has a lot of friends. She's really personable. I really enjoy my time with her because she's so warm and she's always smiling no matter what she does, even whether she's like playing tennis or if she's doing homework, which a lot of us do a lot of homework. She always finds a way to make me feel happy and warm. Shelby will now share some of her experiences and advice with all students in Hawaii. When I was in third grade, I got my first chair and before that I was always kind of really self-conscious about how I walk around because I, I didn't have much and I didn't start playing sports. Then when I picked up a sport, I was really... I became competitive and I really love the sport. Wow, this past year has been really hectic. I've traveled to Taiwan, Thailand, uh, Baton Rouge, South Africa, uh, Montreal, Hilton Head, and I'm even going to France in January. Uh, when I go to a tournament, it's a little difficult because school, I go to a school where there's lots of homework and there's a lot of work to do, but uh, it's kind of trial and error and I need to kind of just figure out what I need to do. So I basically do a lot of homework on the plane right there. There's a lot of time to do that. And 
and there's not a lot of time to do homework while I'm at the tournament, so whenever I have downtime, I'm at the hotel, between matches, I just do homework whenever I can. No matter where you go with your sport, the school is going to take you to your career, and that's what's going to last forever. Aloha and welcome to Hawaii Sports Productions, where we create professional highlight DVDs for recruiting purposes. If you want to get an athletic scholarship to play at college, you need to send a highlight DVD that effectively showcases your talents and abilities. This small investment could possibly save your family thousands of dollars in college tuition, room, and board. Come to our website, www.hawaiisportsproductions.com, or give us a call at 808-232-9772.